Today in Daily in the Word, we begin reading the book of Micah, a small book in the Old Testament belonging to a grouping called the Minor Prophets. Micah was a common name in ancient Israel, meaning who is like the Lord. His prophetic ministry was during the time of the great prophet Isaiah. And while Isaiah was known as a prophet to the cities, Micah was more of an itinerant prophet who spent much of his ministry in smaller towns. He prophesied in Israel until its fall, then continued his ministry in Judah. And while the message was directed at Judah and Israel, the truths were designed to be heard by all peoples and all nations. The main theme of Micah is that God is coming, and Micah speaks of God in three ways. First, God is coming to judge the sin of Israel and Judah. Then, God is coming to establish his kingdom. And third, before all this happens, God is coming as Savior. Commentators divide Micah into three sections, chapters 1 through 3, where judgment is declared, chapters 4 and 5, promised blessings, and chapter 6 and 7, a plea for repentance. So chapter 1 is about God coming to judge sin. Micah declared that Israel and Judah had missed the mark and failed to live up to God's moral standard. As a result, Samaria, Israel's capital city, will fall. Why is this happening? Micah asked in verse 5 of chapter 1. Because the rebellion of Israel, yes, the sins of the whole nation. In chapter 2, Micah continues to proclaim judgment and the reason for it. In chapter 2, beginning with verse 1, Micah said, What sorrow awaits you who lie awake at night, thinking up evil plans? You rise at dawn and hurry to carry them out, simply because you have the power to do so. And then God responds in verse 3, But this is what the Lord says, I will reward your evil with evil. You won't be able to pull your neck out of the noose. You will no longer walk around proudly, for it will be a terrible time. So what hope is there when the Lord declares judgment with such clarity? Verse 12 says, Someday, O Israel, I will gather you. I will gather the remnant who are left. I will bring together again like sheep in a pen, like a flock in its pasture. Like Judah and Israel, our hope is only found in the Lord. As Matthew said, humanly speaking, it's impossible, but with God, everything is possible.